In their highly anticipated bout on January 19, 2019, boxing legend Manny Pacquiao faced off against Adrian Broner in a thrilling showdown at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. From the opening bell, Pacquiao showcased his trademark speed, agility, and relentless aggression. The Filipino fighter dictated the pace, launching rapid-fire combinations and demonstrating his superior ring generalship. Broner, known for his defensive skills, struggled to find his rhythm and effectively counter Pacquiao's onslaught. As the rounds progressed, Pacquiao's dominance became increasingly evident. His speed and accuracy troubled Broner, who struggled to mount a significant offense. Pacquiao's left hand, in particular, proved to be a potent weapon, landing several powerful shots that rocked Bruner and kept him on the defensive. Despite Pacquiao's dominance, Bruner managed to survive the full 12 rounds, relying on his defensive prowess and occasional counter punches. However, his efforts fell short as Pacquiao continued to outclass him in terms of skill, speed, and overall effectiveness. When the final bell rang, the judges, scorecards reflected Pacquiao's dominance. The unanimous decision verdict declared him the winner, the victory solidified Pacquiao's status as one of the sports greats and added another remarkable triumph to his legendary career. The Pacquiao vs. Bruner fight served as a testament to Pacquiao's enduring skill and athleticism, reminding the boxing world of his remarkable legacy. Meanwhile Bruner despite his valiant effort, was unable to match Pacquiao's intensity and ultimately fell short in his bid to dethrone the Filipino icon. With his hands, catches him down. Judges can be split on that. Bruno lands, the Bruno is landing more right hand go, that's the right thing to do. Bruno clipped it with his mic and wins it 10-9. Adrian still shows plenty of snap with his left hand, but he took the former heavyweight champ, Joe Parker. You gotta throw more hands. The left corner is a little bit. Okay, that's been the difference in the fight because none of the rounds have been huge for me, but he's just uh, it's gonna be hard for the judges to score one. And then he caught him again coming in. A few rolls up in the grandstand area here. Get more offense together. There it is, a good straight right hand. Right. And he's just touching him and touching him. Adrian is it. He certainly felt the power of him. And he's nailing him with shots now. The uppercut. He's on the assault. So quick, he turns in that right shoulder and he's back on his heels. There he is. It's a really good round. Look at this. Man, he's putting it on this round. He's working hard, let me tell you. He's trying to pick his shot out there when he can get a lot more power behind it. Look at that, the counter punch he gets high kills the chest and hopes to wear down. You know, the judges wouldn't give him 10 8 for that because there's no knockdown in the corner of Mike Myers. This round coming yes, up. Listen, you body, when you move, the movement is giving him problems. This is David Martinez. All right, here we go. Saw the These guys are so well conditioned there. Both have washed boards. A couple of those punches must have landed hard than they thought. He might be ready to go. With his right hand. I mean, he throws that right hand and turns the knuckles over like no power with it. No, 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 you're not hurting me, but Tony, you're not hurting him either. It's offensive because you're running out of time. World champion in eight divisions has prevailed as far as I can see in this to land that right hand. But Really solid punches in the fight. Many land many, many more. And our fellows are keeping track in total punches in the fight. And it goes to back to what I've been is a solid one. That'll tell you that everything I've been telling you is true. He's not landing his shots. Eyes around his right. And he clips him with the right hand again. 